Okay, we're getting back to this now. Okay, so we've got a, a 4-0 uh, bucktail with a swivel and a couple of 4-0 trailer hooks. Trailer hooks have the uh, the little... Uh, you can add a hook to it. Did you notice the opening there? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is tie the... Um, well, we're going to put a wire on this one. So I'm going to get a wire, and I use a wire close to the size of the uh, leader, not too extra. I use 61 pound wire. So I'm going to cut myself a little, I don't use a lot of wire, just a little. So if the fish grab the uh, sardine, they will... Uh, if they grab it above the sardine, they'll, he'll still hit the wire. Okay, so I got myself a little piece of wire, and I'm going to use this Dubro Easy Twist Pro to make it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little right angle here. And I'm going to take the hook and put it on there. And then I'm going to take the hook and put it in the Easy Pro around the wire, bring it all the way forward, lock it down, bring it all the way forward, lock it down, five turns, and then turn it to the right, five turns, and that's it. You've got a beautiful uh, connection. It has a little bend in it, but uh, I'm able to straighten that out with this. Then we, um, this little pair of pliers, we, then I use the same pliers to grab the wire, twist it around, just an easy twist and it comes off. Okay, and it's nice and smooth, it's not going to grab you. Okay, now we're going to put this on the uh, the leader, but before that, we'll put the sinker on and bend it over. Now, what I do is a little special thing. I take the pliers and I bend it up a little bit. Let me close it up a little bit. I bend it up a little bit so that I have a slight bend in the uh, wire and that way the leader exits the wire straight instead of coming out at a right angle so spin it around a few times maybe eight times and it goes back out the same direction that it came in so that they both exit out that way. Now I lick it, lick it up a little bit and I use the pliers to pull the tag end I guess you call it and then I use my hands to pull the regular end. You can hold the sinker and there we go we've got a nice You can see that, I think. And now I'm going to take the wire off there, too. So I use this to bend it up and down. This takes a few times. Yeah. Now we're good. Throw that away. And in the end of the uh, mono, I like to squeeze it with the pliers, flatten it out a little bit and then cut it off. That way if it slips it's going to have a strange shape there and it won't go through it. So now we're done with that and we're going to put the swivel on. So I think I use what they call Albright. I'm not sure what they call it. Light knot. But I basically tie a knot and loop it around. Okay. Let's slip the swivel through the Loop, pull it tight, 
lick it a little bit. Again, pull on the tag in because you don't want the curly stuff at the end of the. I like it nice and straight. Hold this. Grab it tight. Same thing with this one. Flatten it and then cut it. Okay, that's done. Now, the last step is we're going to use a little uh, vice grip. Where's my little vice grip? I like the vice grip because it has the parallel teeth in there and it grabs these uh, trailer hooks very nicely. So you put one in there and notice how it grabs these trailer hooks. I need to tighten that up a little bit. Closes it down. Get the second one in there. Closes that down. And there you go. You've got yourself a knocker rig with a wire and a swivel. And these are great for catching mutton snappers and quality fish. The reason it's good is because when you're you got this sinker on here and when it moves through the water the fish follows it like it's swimming. And fish think it's alive more than they would if it was just laying there in the floating around. So that's the uh, knocker rig that I use for fishing. Thank you.